Hi everyone. So today's presentation is going to be on St. John's, uh, Newfoundland and Labrador. So we are going to go over the location, its history, attractions, food, culture, climate, and some fun facts. So let's start off with the location and history. St. John's is the capital of Newfoundland, an Eastern Canadian province. In the island part of Newfoundland and Labrador, St. John's is located to the east of the island. The history. Newfoundland is the newest of Canada's 10 provinces, having joined the Confederation only in 1949. Its name was changed to Newfoundland and Labrador in 2001. The island was originally Newfoundland by the 15th century explorers. St. John's was initially a commercial trading outpost for Europeans engaged in the fishing industry. While the fishery is still important, the city is now known as the main service center for the province's offshore oil and gas industry. The climate. St. John's has a humid continental climate with smaller seasonal variations than normal for latitude, which is due to the Gulf Stream moderation. Temperatures range from an average of negative four Celsius in winter to an average of 17 Celsius in summer. St. John's is notorious for its heavy snow in winter. It gets an average of 33 centimeters in the month of January. In the winter of 2020, a blizzard dumped 76 centimeters of snow on the province within a day. The Canadian military was called in to help remove the snow. The main attractions. Signal Hill. Signal Hill was the site of St. John's Harbor defenses from the 17th century to the Second World War and where Guglielmo Macaroni received the world's first transatlantic wireless signal in 1901. Cape Spear. Constructed in 1836, Cape Spear Lighthouse is an example of the unique lighthouse architecture of the period. Rising up from the center of the square lightkeeper's residence, the all-important lighthouse, lighthouse was a beacon of safe passage until 1955, when a new lighthouse tower was built nearby, using the original light. The Rooms. Opened in 2005, the Rooms is a state-of-the-art cultural center that preserves and protects the province's heritage, history, and culture. The rooms houses the Newfoundland M Museum, Provincial Archite Archives of Newfoundland and Labrador, and the Art Gallery of Newfoundland and Labrador. East Coast Trail. The East Coast Trail unites genuine wilderness hiking and historical communities from Topsail Beach to Cape St. Cape St. Francis to Capai to Capahaden. There are over 336 kilometers of trail to explore. The food and culture. Breakfast. Traditional Newfoundland breakfast consists of cod cakes, baked beans, totons, similar to pancakes, and fried bologna. The lunch. Seafood is quite popular in St. John's, especially fish and chips. Dinner. Jig's dinner, the most quintessential of Newfoundland foods, is one pot meal of salt beef boiled with cabbage, potatoes, carrots, turnips, rutabaga, and sometimes turnip greens. The culture, also the sports. Football or soccer and cricket are the most popular sports in the world. It was the most popular sport in the province at the end of the 19th century. The language. There are more varieties of English spoken in Newfoundland and Labrador than anywhere else in the world. The Newfie accent has Western England and Southern Ireland influence and is different from the rest of Canada. 
The Dictionary of Newfoundland English was published in 1982 and contains many unique words and phrases. The events. Kitchen parties are very common in Newfoundland and the Maritimes provinces. They are a festive occasion hosted in someone's home with traditional music, singing, dancing, eating, and drinking. Some fun facts. St. John's is the easternmost, easternmost city in North America. John Chabot was the first explorer to sail into the St. John's Harbor on June 24, 1497. The city name has been attributed to the nativity of John the Baptist and John Chabot was when John Chabot was believed to have sailed into the harbor in 1497 and to Bosque Fishing Town with the same name. The Newfoundland dog is one of five dog breeds indigenous to Canada. The world disaster in St. John's was the Great Fire of 1892. It burned down most of the east end of the city. The largest snowfall ever recorded in one day was 68.4 centimeters or 30 inches on April 5, 1999. St. John's is not to be confused with St. John, another Canadian city in the province of New Brunswick. Uh, so that concludes the end of our tour. Thank you everyone for visiting St. John's.